So today I'm going to be flying a Mavic Pro drone in a car. Okay, so I decided to do this video because Stephen Harvey said, I've always wondered what happens when you fly something in a car. If you take off in a stationary enclosed vehicle, then you move the vehicle, will inertia carry the drone with the car or will it stay stationary while the car moves as though seeming to fly to the back? Then maybe test again with the windows open if the results were interesting enough. So I'm gonna be trying it first with all the doors closed and the trunk closed, and then I'll try it with the doors and the trunk open and see if it's any different. So before I actually do the experiment, why don't you push pause and go in the comments section and guess if you think the drone will move along with the van or it will stay put and it will look like it moves to the back of the van, essentially staying in place. So this drone was given to me by banggood.com in order to do this video. So go check out their website. They have really cool stuff there. You can order the Mavic Pro drone from their website if you want. They also have other cool stuff like this fidget spinner that is also a working phone. See menu, contacts, you can even access the internet on it. <laughs> it's also a fidget spinner, <laughs> really cool. So the Mavic Pro has a lot of cool features. One of the features is it has is obstacle avoidance and so if it looks like it's gonna hit something, it'll back off from it or stop flying. I'm turning all of that off so that I can fly it manually and just have it hover in place. So that'll give us the clearest picture if the movement of the van actually moves the drone with it. Ugh. Really nervous about this. This is a really tight area to be flying a Mavic. So here we go. We're gonna do first get it in the air and then I'll tell Joanna to drive my wife with all the windows closed, all the doors closed and see if the drone comes back towards me. Okay. So if it comes back towards me, that essentially means it's staying in the same location, not moving with the van. Okay, I'm gonna get it in the air. And Joanna, you're just gonna drive straight when I say to, okay? Okay, go. Slow. Stop, stop. Don't get slight. It's light. I felt, I failed to realize if it comes back towards me, I'm just gonna get chopped up Don't by these blades. So I'm gonna go in the front of it this time. <laughs> so it looks like from that, a mini session it did stay where it was and come back towards me <laughs> okay let's go over here okay go slowly forward hey it's staying here wait stop stop oh man hey it's staying here wait stop stop oh man <laughs> Okay, so after the first session, so it looked like when she initially started moving, it moved backwards, but then it kind of stayed with the van as it started moving. And then it shifted because my wife turned actually, and it hit the side of the van. So you're gonna start off slow, okay? Yep. Wait, don't go yet. I'll tell you later. Okay, go slow. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, I have a blanket to stop it now if it goes crazy because I just chopped my fingers twice. Those blades are moving fast. Okay, go slowly. So, 
That's cool. Is that confirming that's a, your hypothesis? That's about what I expected because if you move slow enough, it can push off the air in the van and so it's essentially pushing it with us. But if you go fast, then it has no time to adjust and so the van just moves and it pushes through the air. So that's cool. If you do go slow enough, the drone just stays with the van. So I wasn't controlling it at all front and back. Uh, I did adjust a little bit. It would kind of drift to the side. That's because there's a lot of air turbulence in here with these big blades. And so it was kind of unsteady and it would kind of drift from one side to the other. Okay, so now in this test, I have both doors open and the trunk open. So let's see if now it stays in place and does not go with the van. So I'm gonna be standing outside of the van in this case. Go. Go. Yeah, go. <laughs> okay, I left it there. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> It kind of stayed with it, it kept hovering with it, and then it finally left it as she moved faster. So that's what happens with the doors and the trunk open. Okay, so that was a little crazy to do. I didn't have a lot of space, and these blades are moving really fast. I actually cut my finger. They're actually big blood blisters trying to catch the drone in the van. So you can see that even when it's not enclosed, if you just have a big barrier, you can kind of push it with just air. You can feel the wind below this is pushing on it. So essentially you can move the drone just with air. And another thing this really depends on is how aerodynamic the object is. So this isn't very aerodynamic, meaning it's meant to catch air and move it. So it can move through the air easily, but the blades are meant to propel air. And so that means it's very sensitive to air moving around it, it can push it easily. So if you were driving, for example, and you threw a ball up and then slammed on your brakes, that ball would just zoom forward to the front of the car relative to you in the car. That's because the ball is very aerodynamic and the air just moves around it and it just keeps moving. So even though being in the car does affect it, it's almost like the car's not there when it's flying if you're moving at any speeds greater than a crawl. So this was a pretty cool experiment. Thanks for the recommendation. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions for me to do in the future, let me know in the comments section. And again, I'll leave a link to all the products I talked about in the description, and I'll see you next time.